I love this comparison. It's kind of like comparing a fast Mercedes sedan with a slower but still plush pickup truck. And in Texas, we see a lot of those. For today's comparison, we're looking at the top of the line turboprop, the King Air 350, and one of the most popular charter aircraft of all time, Cessna's Citation XLS. This comparison is even more compelling because they are the aircraft on which my buddy Kenny Dichter built his ever-growing company, Wheels Up. You can look at pricing for those charter services on their website or those of other charter companies. But today, we're going to examine actual fixed and direct operating costs as if you own the plane yourself. Jay, yeah, take absolutely. it away. This is a fun comparison because you're right, it's, they're not, we're not splitting hairs here. We're really like looking at two very different but comparable aircraft. Apples to oranges. Yeah, that's right. Um, but you, can, you could own either one and justify either one depending on what you needed. So um, let's take the baseline of 100,000 miles flown and this is gonna be significant because the XLS flies about 420, 425 knots. While the King Air 350 is about a little over 300. So you're going significantly faster, obviously, because you're in a jet and you're getting up higher. So it would take you 205 hours to fly 100,000 miles in a year in the XLS. Okay. In the King Air 350, it would take you almost 300. It's like 290. So you're buying 100 hours. Yeah, you're buying 100 hours of your life back. Just like that, it's a time machine, which is great. But you're gonna pay for it, right? So the XLS burns 230 gallons an hour of fuel. The King Air 350 burns 131. So 230 to 130. Um, we would say for a maintenance reserve for the XLS, you're looking at $860 per hour. The King Air 350 is $520 per hour. Um, you are flying more hours than the King Air though, so keep that in mind in the back of your head. When we talk about insurance, the King Air is more expensive. Um, it's oh. about seven, eight grand more expensive. Now, this is a national average. So King Air owners are like, what? Uh, pilot training is actually almost identical, um, which I found surprising. When we look at direct operating costs, even though you're only flying- Hang on a second. Yes. With pilot training, in a charter operation like we talked about with Wheels Up, mm -hmm. we're looking at two pilots flying that King Air 350. We're also looking at two pilots flying the Citation XLS. But in a real life example, with you, know, you or I flying it for private use, we could get by with one pilot in the King Air 350 while the Citation XLS still requires two. So, as people are looking at that, it may be a little bit cheaper on the King Air with pilot costs and pilot training, right. just for that fact yeah. alone. Well, that's that's good to keep in mind. Um, and so I'll chat a little bit about that at the, at the very end. F from an operational standpoint, if you're flying 205 hours a year in an XLS, direct operating costs are about $400,000 for 10, let's say. Uh, in the King Air 350, when you're flying 290 hours, it's still only $337,000 a year. Wow. So you're saving a lot of money flying the King Air even though you're going slower. You're spending more time in the air, but it's so much cheaper to operate that you actually save money. Um, the fixed costs, this is big too, because it just takes more with a jet. Uh, fixed costs yearly for flying 200 hours in the XLS is about $400,000. In the King Air 350, it's about 285. So it's just cheaper to operate a Kinger, but do you need to go faster? Do you need to go higher? Do you like to say you have a jet? I mean, these are all... Do you need to go farther? That's right, do you need to go farther? There, there are a lot of factors that go into this. For the extra cash, here's what you get. A cabin that's a foot taller and a foot wider, a range that's more than 400 miles longer at 1,939 nautical miles, compared to just over 1,500 for the King Air and the jet is 120 knots faster than the turboprop. So you're arriving sooner on longer hulls. The King Air 350, however, seats the same number of passengers, eight, and operates at a heck of a lot more affordable cost. Unlike other planes we compare, these really do have different missions. And we often see corporate fleets that have both a jet and a turboprop to support those. Visit wepush10.com resources to learn more about current market values 
and find even more valuable resources for buying or selling an aircraft.